Hi guys, it's been a while since I had a video. Um, I had to deal with things with around my house because of Hurricane Ida, so um, I had to um, renovate a lot of my the stuff around my house because of the hurricane, so I haven't had time to record a video. So this is the first video that I have since before Hurricane Ida. Um, and I just decided to do something uh, quick uh, since I'm still I'm getting used to again um, getting my makeup ready since I had all the stuff from my bedroom and this this my makeup room uh, so I decided to do something that was quick and for me to get used to doing videos again so this is kind of the first video that I have before uh, Hurricane Ida and um, again I hope that y'all like it and again thank you for watching my videos the following is a tutorial on how to do eyebrows and if you have thin brows or if you're looking uh, to have your eyebrows looking bushy kind of what I have right now and this is going to be the main product that I'm going to use and if you want to see what I do in order to get my eyebrows to look the way they do right now please keep on watching okay guys so it's been a while and uh, the things that I'm going to be doing for my eyebrows, something that I discovered, I had another one before, uh, but I discovered this newest one, which is the Ultra Glue, got to be, and this is the Ultra one. There's another one, which is this one right here, but it, this one has like a white, uh, when you take it out of the, the, the tub, it's like uh, white, kind of like a whitish color, it's not uh, clear, but this one here is clear, and it's supposed to be Ultra, so I'm going to be trying it for the first time. Uh, so let's see what happens. Another other products that I'm going to be using is going to be this uh, Too Faced. This is a pomade in a pencil. This is something that I've been liking. And uh, just to define it, I'm going to use this again from Too Faced. This is a super fine uh, brow uh, detailer. So this is the other one. This has got like a micro little end to it. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. And the brush that I'm going to be using is going to be this from Patrick Ta. And I bought this. And this is amazing for the eyebrows, but it was a little too expensive and I decided just to try something different. I saw a hack on TikTok uh, using um, this product right here. So I've been using this, but uh, when I went to um, the pharmacy, I saw this new thing here, which is clear. And this is an invisible styling gel. I'm going to be using the part of Patrick Ta, which... I don't have any more it's empty but I decided not to throw it away so I'm going to be using that in order to laminate the lashes so I'm going to take a little bit of it and you can see it's clear let me see if I can see it here yeah it's clear the other one has like a white hue to it this one is clear and you can take you can see it's thicker I put some to my lashes and this is something that I've been doing that has been I changed to my lashes because they look so natural oh yeah this is a little thicker has like a different consistency and you see so I just put and I concentrate here in the roots I kind of I don't know if you can see how I do um, with my forehead I kind of push up my forehead a little bit okay put a little more And this one is definitely thicker. Oh yeah. And this one dries, seems like it dries a little faster than the original one, this super one. But like I said, the most important thing is for you to make sure that you coat everything. And that's kind of what I'm trying to do. And this one gives you a little bit more time for you to be able to kind of laminate them and laminate them I mean is have them stuck to your skin and what I usually I start from right here from the ends I don't know if you can see it and see this one gives you a little more of a grip and then I use the back of it to kind of put them in place and even with that this gives you a little more time for you to play with them just to make sure your hairs are all in place. Which they are. See one that is not right there. So what you're trying to do is put them as perfect as you can to the skin. 
and this is going to be kind of like a canvas because what happens is you're not going to use so much of the uh, the color because you kind of have like a um, like a stencil you see here I see a little bit still like I, I used to wear the Patrick top but with that one it's um, you have to do it immediately if not it would like dry super quick and then you have like chunks of the product like you have to like take off so this one I'm gonna go back and just kind of give it time to dry you see the difference and you see how the hairs are lifted a little bit like you know it just gives you more like a canvas for you to do your eyebrow if your eyebrows are super thin and like I said I've never done uh, any kind of um, I was wanted to do um, what do you call like a tattoo on my eyebrows but I don't know about that because um, I'm gonna do the other one now because I feel like when they put a needle in your skin and you keep doing that every year I feel like that's damaging uh, the top layer of your skin so I just decided not not to do it so I'm gonna do the other one okay and I put a lot of it not too much enough that you can work with it and like what I do is I concentrate and I kind of lift a little bit I concentrate here in the roots because that's the part where you want it to be stuck to the skin uh, and I kind of like that look right now and what I do is on this part right here I kind of go out make sure you have enough and like I said this one I kind of push it out and I'll show you why these little hairs right here it gives you like a natural look and then it's starting to get tacky and I'm going to start from right here from the outside And I'm gonna go right here and right there. What's good about this product is that you can work with it. It gives you enough time to put your eyebrows where you want them to be, which is kind of what I did. I kind of look up a little bit. I just want to make sure that here, this part right here, is super stuck to the skin. Same for this one right here. So these are flushables and I use them to clean the outside of my eye or um, the, my eyebrow I mean. So just whatever excess I have. Okay, so now that they're both dry, I'm going to, oh. so now that they're both dry, I'm going to use this, uh, the pomade and a pencil. This is just amazing. Okay, so the reason I use this technique where I put that first and then I use this instead of putting this first in, and then do um, the uh, the gel is because uh, your hair is kind of like that. It's kind of like a stencil. So let me show you what I do. Start with a stencil. You can use this or you can also use this one right here. So I'm going to go, I don't know if you can see it, but you already have a stencil built. Okay, and then I go here to see where it's going to start. So it's going to start right there. The difference about this one is it's not a pomade. So um, I kind of use it just to, I don't know if you see the difference. Now I'm going to use this one because this is a pomade, which is like waterproof. So what I do is I start from the bottom, I go up, right on top of it. And you see already? It's already filling in that part. And look how easy it is. I mean, it just took me a little longer, um, but when I'm doing it by myself, this is like super, super quick. And I kind of go up. You see it? And I'm gonna go on the side. So this is kind of what it looks like. If you want it to detail a little more, then I'll use this one here. In order to clean up, I use the NARS. This is a creamy, uh, creamy concealer. This one right here in the color custard. And I use this from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's just like a, a in order to detail your brows. So what I do is I take a little bit of this and I put it in the back of my hand because I don't want that whole product to be there. And then what I do is, I don't know if you can see it, I usually just tilt my eyebrow a little bit. Lift my eyebrow, I mean. Okay. 
Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like. Now let me do the other one. And this is kind of how I do my eyebrows. Uh, let me do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is what my eyebrows look like. And as you can see, they have, um, they're, like I said, when I do it every day, it's really, really easy. But if you feel like they're too dark, if you feel like, you know, like for instance, in the, in the, the middle part of it is too, too dark, just take the same brush that you do it for your, uh, for your under eye or any type of powder and just powder a little bit on top of that. And that's going to kind of, uh, uh, tame a little bit of the, the color. But again, I, the reason I like to do it the way I'm doing it is because the gel helps uh, as a stencil uh, to dry. And I like to, have, like I said, I had like, like a, the, uh, the lamination because I just put a little bit of product. Usually when I put the pencil and I put any kind of gel, I put so much on your eyebrows that I didn't want them looking like um, fake. I want it to more like a feather type of look. And like I, like I was saying with this, this is kind of, um, that I'm just, like I said, I'm, I'm loving this. So again, this is what I have. I, I'm literally, this is what I've been doing all the time, except like I said, for an everyday look, um, it takes me short because I just kind of push, you know, the gel on, uh, on both sides. And then I just let it sit for a few minutes while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And then before it gets really, really, you know, dry when it's really tacky, you just kind of go in and you feather uh, everything. So, um, like I said, when you put the product, the the any kind of uh, you know, you can do a powder or any kind of pencil. You don't put as much because you already have that stencil there. So doing the the lamination on them, I, I'm in love with it. Again, I'm in love with this and I got the smaller size because this is going to last me forever. The Patrick Ta works wonders too, except it is so, like when you do it, you have to immediately do it because if not, it becomes super sticky and you can't do anything about it. It just, it becomes like a, 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 like a mess where this one gives you a little bit of time to work your eyebrows. And like I said, uh, just using the wand for this one here, it just, it, it, like I said, it, um, like I didn't throw it away. I just, like I said, I, I'm using it for the wand, and and it's just working, working perfect. Like this too, right now. The the wand for this, and this is amazing. And again, if another tip is if you want it to be super, super, you know, like if you have thick lashes and you want them to be super straight, uh, you can also use this before, and that way you can put some of the excess of the product. If you put too much of the product, it's gonna be too too much. It's gonna be too thick. So, uh, like I said, you can also use this and take kind of like the excess of the product and, and you know, kind of wipe it on a little of something and, and then, you know, let it just get tacky. And if you feel like you need another layer before it dries, then just do another layer of the product. But again, guys, this is what I have so far. Let me get it from close. It's just amazing. I'm in love with this. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching my videos.